I want to talk to you today about five things you can do to reduce anxiety during the COVID-19 crisis. Let me tell you that anxiety and even fear are normal feelings during times like this. But there are some things that we can do to really uh, reduce the impact that anxiety may have on us. Number one, stay grounded. And what I mean by that is limit your exposure to social media. A lot of misinformation is, is going on. Stay grounded in truth. One of the ways that you can do that is go to our own Tamuk website about the COVID-19 coronavirus updates. Number two, stay focused. Get on a regular routine. Your mind and body respond very positively to, a, to consistency and constancy. A third thing to do is to stay connected. Reach out to your professors. They want to hear from you as much as you want to hear from them. It's a difficult transition for many of our professors. So don't think you're the only one that's experiencing anxiety uh, as we're transitioning to a fully online campus. Now, if you're having difficulty connecting with them or, get, or hearing from them, I encourage you to reach out to your department chair or to your college dean's office. One of the worst things that we can do during a time of social distancing is social isolation. And we don't want to do that. We want you to stay connected to your family and friends. And if you feel like things are getting too difficult, reach out to our student health and wellness counseling services uh, department here at Texas A&M University, Kingsville. Okay, number four, stay healthy. Practice social distancing. This is a real issue. This is a serious issue. And the research is telling us, the experts are telling us to avoid crowds of more than 10 people and also uh, to stay six feet away uh, from others. Now, wash your hands also, at least 20 seconds. More research is showing that this is often more effective than hand sanitizers. I would also encourage you to find time to exercise Take a walk, rest, uh, eat well, avoid alcohol and drugs. Uh, this is a great time for you to stay healthy and focus on your body, your mind and body. And then number five, stay positive. You know, it's hard to soar with eagles when you're hanging with the turkeys. So make sure that you stay connected to people who are going to be healthy for you. Surround yourself with people who have a positive disposition and who are emotionally and mentally grounded. Learn to laugh. Uh, laugh a lot. It's good for you. This is a great time also to do something you've been wanting to do. Read a novel. Watch a funny movie. Uh, complete some of the chores around your apartment or your house that you've been putting off. These are difficult times. So stay grounded, stay focused, stay connected, stay healthy, and stay positive. Remember you're part of a Havelina family. We care about you, and we are here for you.